Paul was using radio that taught a song of Paul's and teaches the gospel. We can see that the background of the billboard and the billboard from Paul not a word of Someone else besides me in this area can take positive. On my own, I can't do it. But I mean, look at this truck here. This truck is so flashing its lights. It won't come out. I don't think it's flashing its lights. I'm getting wet here. I thought I was suitable around the car. Because I'm very aware that they can change the weather very quickly, which they do on me a lot. Like this is mid summer here. Yeah. It's, it's um, um, February. And uh, so I've got to concentrate in February. It's, it's mid summer in Sydney normally. So normally, all I can say is that I've lived here far too long. Well, actually, if I only feel like that now, in the last few years, I've never felt that I live too long. I've always thought I have to get enough time to when am I going to start living? Now I realise you don't have much hope of actually living like you were born to in the earth nature. But you don't realise that until you do decide that you're going to give it a crack to it. So, so that's our point. But, there was a, a place that was something to play for. You know, there'll be some sort of election, I would imagine, you know, where you vote for the uh, people that run Australia sort of thing. So they brought in this new party over the last few months, which offers freedom, and I know because I get the ads in between the videos on the YouTube, but also, um, you know, the... Never mind, but it's in a way, it's a. I'm getting a bit bamboozled here. I'm not going to forget about this stuff. If it's not that bad, but I just I haven't done this for a bit, so I'm out of comfort. Out of town, out of the rest of the city. I'm probably all out of town. Yeah. I mean, out of town, but out of town. Out of time, in the sense that time to slow everything down is definitely running out. Maybe it's already running out. But, um, but also we're all in the wrong time in relation to one another or something. Because it seems to be very hard to... Uh, to uh, interrupt successfully even with one of your own. So that is the problem. And, uh, it's a big problem for me personally. It shouldn't be, but it's just that I've uh, let it get that way and I 
failed um, myself in that regard too, and also in relation to what's around me, because like, I'm in Lighthouse, and uh, depending on how many other others would have even the potential for a uh, positive vibration of any sort, even at a minuscule level. Um, you know, this, this whole vibration thing is something that I've been aware of since the beginning because it was the only way I could understand why I was being um, pushed right down. Now, the vibration thing is, oh, here comes another plane. Oh. Close my eyes so I can't see anything. Now, the vibration thing I can work down to for myself anyway. So, my vibration, close my eyes, my vibration is so small. In fact, um, I feel a uh, you know, so I feel, because see, what you feel as a human being is your vibration, okay? So I feel crushed. So that means my vibration is probably down to not much at all. Even last week I did try to fake it. I say fake it till you make it. That's what the make it. The cycles that are all around there. They fight for human emotion, they fight positive human emotion. They don't fight if they were real and they were um, like uh, just human beings who get angry and negative from time to time, or even if it's a lot, as, it, as is the case for most of us right now. Uh, They would lost my train of thought. I better get back to I really can't do this. Mm, let me see. See what I'm trying to say is my vibration is very small. But it goes to the local area. That just as you, just as you, sorry about that, but I just thought that car was trying to override me, which it was, um, sorry about that. So I've completely lost my phone, I thought again, I'm trying to say one thing, I can't do it, um, so, okay, so, my vibration goes out locally. That means to the, 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 the real vibration of a real person can only go out to that which is really close to you, okay? So, so whatever um, is closest to me is what goes out. Close my eyes again. Is what goes out to what is closest to me. But... So my vibration doesn't affect very much past a small area, I would think. But because it goes out to what is closest around me, and then what is closest around me 
um, affects that, which is closest to them. So we say, just stop and then walk away. That's right. Don't bother to pass it the light for stuff. That's just the trial system. I've just pointed it out. See how they sidetrack me from my. I really haven't sidetracked me because I opened my eyes, lost my concentration now. See. see, what I'm trying to say is that if you are a real human being with any positive vibration, or for that matter, if, if you are feeling negative, as we mainly are, all the time in the matrix because of what that which is around us because we have this controlling controlling force of negative artificial um you know dominating and your ones around it. that's the description that i have to use about most of the people that are around it's the best i can do but they, they enjoy and feed off negative, angry, hostile you know negative negative feelings. They are repulsed by positive uh, friendly um, positive vibrations or positive feelings. They emulate and copy and mimic that in order to fit in and to seduce and take over, but they don't experience those emotions personally themselves. They're not a technical entity. And positive vibrations are positive. So they desire to and receive negative emotions from, from real um, life that can experience all types of feelings and emotions I would imagine. At least that's how it is for me, so I assume that's how it's meant to be. Obviously we would like to experience mainly pleasant, pleasurable, positive um, Emotions. We don't really enjoy being angry or frustrated and driven um, into the negative way of feeling, or even into the way of feeling where you, um, you know, are trying to cut off from your body and from what's around you because you have gone so negative in your thinking because you've almost given up on the uh, reality and on, and on people that, you know, uh, that's like the protection that we will put into. But that just gives the matrix a huge upper hand, of course, unfortunately, because they're making this um, but otherwise, I think I can see this life course. I can't believe I'm doing this here. So, the vibration of the world is like whatever my emotion is at this moment, and I can tell you now that I'm positive, um, that. Um, but I am making this little video, so that probably makes me more forceful because I have to override the matrix while I'm doing it. But, and because maybe I think there's some, you know, I, I, I know it, it, it's a forcefulness, but at the same time, while you're doing something, you have to convince yourself that it's worthwhile, that it's worth um, the effort. Uh, but the point is that um, the, uh, the vibration or the feeling, I'm just being fancy when I say frequency and vibration, 
energy because by size that everything is open to vibration energy. So therefore, you know, because um, the thing burns simply to like um, the reality. <sighs> Their presence in vibration is no like to me. I knew this from day one. When the notion came down, was that it was about suppressing my emotions because I knew that I was starting to feel better and then my vibration would come down. So that, you know, your, you know, there is suppressed and and closed in and unhappy because they know that you were, you know, I was kind of um, not looking forward to older age but thinking that at long last I was a bit more free than what I had been most of my life. And so immediately then they came closed in on me. So um, I think that's. Um, and that 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 was like, well, why would they do that? Because I wasn't, make, I wasn't even, um, wasn't doing anything at that time. You know, I was just um, going to live a little bit more freely and um, try to make the best of life. <coughs> so I knew that it was about suppressing my feelings and my emotions and bringing me down um, at that level. So that, and then when I heard about the other thing, you could put in two together for the so, Now, so the first thing she is like this, well, it's about the human being. So, so, so if I'm feeling a bit better than, say, being really negative, if I was, then that is felt by those that are around me. But the whole thing is to stop that from going to another of your own time because then you've got double the uh, positive feeling or vibration frequency if you like. I don't know what I'm talking about and you know what I don't but I'll just do my best. But I do know it's about the human emotion because that's all I have. And um, so, you know, that's what this controlling, controlling emotion system that is around me is about. It's about controlling my emotion, and it's a whole system, a whole matrix that's around me at the present time. It's around all or anyone that has positive and negative human emotions. You know, unlike those that are around that are part of the control and control system, they only have negative um, artificial um, emotions. That is in their makeup. Um, that's the best way I can describe it. I'm not doing it well, I know. But the thing is that when the, if the positive emotion spreads to another, that also has potential for positive human vibration or emotional feeling, then that becomes greater. You see. And so therefore that can... Therefore the negative artificial... Um, ones that are controlling or trying to control and very successful at it I might add, especially around here, especially in Sydney, um, at controlling the real ones that have potential for any positive feelings or emotions. Um, oh, I've lost my time of course here. I do hope you can figure it out. But you get what I'm saying is that um, the whole thing is that the human 
positive vibration is or feeling or emotion, something or the something in this kind of conversation. If that um, that affects only that which is quite close to me, just as you can only connect, which is what I was trying to say all along, to someone, to anyone, to someone, but to anyone else who's interested. And they have downloaded this too, even onto the internet and computer quite recently, but I knew it because I realised it when you like, for instance, if you're using Skype and you can't make direct contact, if you can't make, uh, if you can't actually visually look too much at the person that you're talking to, you're not making a connection. They're there. You're getting a kind of, uh, you're getting um, some physical um, vibration. Uh, you're getting um, a kind of, uh, I can't describe it. You are getting, you're getting the vibe of them, of what they are, but you are not connecting with them because you're not making eye contact. And and it's, it's, so it's the same as the vibration that's given out around me. It has to be only very close to you. So it has to be face-to-face -face interaction or connection. But also, to send out positive or negative vibration, it is only sent, I can only send it to what is quite close to me. That's why we have all this wrapping around. Probably won't come out in the mobile, but you know, they make all funny noises or the trucks and cars and things, depending on how I'm feeling. If I'm feeling really uh, miserable, they don't have to make quite so much racket. But the minute you even have the slightest pushing yourself to feel slightly better, they will send negative uh, frequency, vibration, or noise. Sound, as someone said to me a long time ago on one of my things, but sound is vibration or whatever. And well, I mean, I don't understand all these things. I'm, I talk more in layman's language, as I say. Like, to me, it's like the vibration is human emotion, feeling, and the rest is sound and noise. You don't have to be, you know, clever to, to know that these things affect human beings. So I've always known that, you know, long before being. Um, conscious of uh, controlling matrix in the world. You know that. It's just that because it's emphasised, you become incredibly aware of it. In fact, um, you're living in a city, you get used to a lot of noise, so you don't... It has to be very intrusive and very continual and quite loud on a continual basis to really disrupt um, your uh, mind. You know, to be honest, uh, too dark and fair, traveling up in front. Um, what I'm trying to say is, and I'm, oh, I'm going to feel on this side here. See, what I'm trying to say is it only goes out to what, I can only send anything at all out or make any connection if it's face to face and close to where you see it. And same as sending out positive or negative human emotion or vibration or whatever. It has to be quite close. But it can have what they call that domino effect, where if it hits those that are close, then those that are close hit others that are close to them and then close to them. So it's got that, you know, what, you know, like when you put the domino and you knock one and the whole, every single domino falls down because they're all close. You know, that's what they call the domino effect. Well, it's like that in the matrix. That's how it works. So I don't have an effect on sitting. I have an effect only on probably quite close local. But what quite close local then affects the next suburb or the next lot of people? And that's, well, that's how it works, I guess. I guess. You know? And that's why they are suppressing um, 
any that have both um, emotions or positive and negative um, feelings, uh, you know, in them, or the capability of that, depending on the environment, depending on how this matrix affects you around you. Now, that sign over there, that is about, uh, that, that sign originally has been up there for months, and they keep putting it up for this, um, called the Freedom Party, which, which I guess will be running at the election, which is probably coming up soon, I really don't know, I don't keep track of politics. And I don't vote, so I shouldn't say that I know. But, um, uh, so I, I'm not even on the roll, so I actually can't vote. They actually don't want me to vote anyway. <laughs> and I, you know, because for years I, it suited me not to be on the roll because um, I just saw no reason to vote. And really, there usually is because all the parties tend to pretty much uh, be the same in many ways, we all know that. Um, and I figured that out even when I wasn't political, you know, like when I wasn't um, interested in anything, you know, I just thought, oh, this is, my life is the same regardless of who gets in because I just proved that I was a lifetime. But they've got this new party called the United Australia Freedom Party or something like that. I forget what it's called now, but they advertise it even on the YouTube all the time in between the videos. But, um, but they've put this sign up here over the last uh, few months, uh, you know, advertising this uh, new Freedom Party where it sort of is, is basically telling you that if, you, if, um, if they get in, you'll have total freedom, there'll be no more lockdowns, no restrictions, uh, no, no one will have to go along or do any of the things that that, that, that that, that, um, that basically, you know, have been almost necessary out of the last whatever, you know. You thought probably would know about all these things. I still can't go into the shops without signing in at the present time, and I've got a mask on right this very moment, even though total lockdown has stopped. They keep saying, they, every time I go to go in the supermarket, they bring it in the next day that, um, that you have to sign in or um, wear a mask. And I guess that's because the one day when I did go into the supermarket about a, two months ago, or whatever, I forget when, it doesn't matter when it was, it probably wasn't even two months, but it doesn't matter. The next day they brought back in the mask and the signing in. So clearly, they don't. They they must think that me even going into a supermarket raises my vibration very slightly because actually I had, haven't been in one for so long, and it's not like I enjoy going into them these days with the patrolling controllers that are all in there. You know, it's not been a pleasant. I used to, I did used to enjoy going into a supermarket and buying things. I like to go in and buy the different groceries and things because they've always got new stuff and as, as they tend to give you what you like because they read your mind and therefore if they think you like a certain flavour or something they will put it into the foods and things because they know that the others that are around will also follow that and try it because you do because that's what I say with the domino effect. Because, um, also because the, um, you know, the, uh, the others tend to follow. Because they have to copy and blend in, they will then do what you do, buy what you buy. Because, um, they think that makes them blend in more because they consider that because you have positive taste, because you're a positive and negative person, <coughs> oh, I don't know, I'm not explaining it. But you see, that works like that, but I'm not explaining it. But this up there, they put this sign up here, and this sign, uh, someone is getting up all the way up onto that sign. I don't know how they get up there and they rub out some of the letters that's in black on yellow and then they um, change it. So you see, see, it's called the Freedom Party, but at the moment, 
And they've done it three or four times. Every time uh, they do it, after about a week, you know, the council or whatever comes along and rubs it all out and puts the new uh, advertisement for the so-called Freedom Party back up. But every time, I have to give them credit here for persistence because they've done it again three times. The first one was actually almost humorous, like I actually did. You know, it takes a bit to get me to uh, smile these guys, but uh, these two men there just happen to be standing there fiddling around. I'm not even aware of it. But see how, um, what I'm saying is that they are, uh, with this sign, uh, see how it's, it's a freedom party and see how it's got three? See how they've left the first few? Oh, no, actually they've changed quite a few of the letters on that. But, but it looks like freedom. If you look at it, Quickly, it looks like freedom, but it actually says freedom. It says freedom. And so instead of freedom, 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 it's freedom, 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 and underneath it it says freedom. I just read it now. This is the best angle. It's the only one where you can get the whole sign in, but I'm, the reason I'm talking is because... Oh, I'm out of breath here. I really am. Oh, but the smart path... Oh. Okay. I have to pull that mask down, I just can't stand it anymore. Actually, the reason I leave it on sometimes is because um, if I try to um, smile at them, they don't like that. It, it, doesn't, it does bring out that anger, so I don't want to cause anger for myself. <coughs> and they can't see them. Because don't forget, they're all about suppressing you and your emotions. So, So therefore, you know, I actually uh, don't want them to cause me too many problems. Well, they do anyway. They're such the whole thing. You know, they do put you into a fear mode where you think, well, it might be not so good today, but I have experienced worse days, so you fear always the worst. So it's like that. So they keep you in Oh, anyway, it says freedom. On that sign it says freedom. Underneath it says freedom spam. And on the, the next one it says freedom lies. See, they've crossed out all the thing where it's, where it's telling you the positive things about this freedom party. So it says freedom spam. Not sure what spam is. Um, freedom lies. And feed them to the LNP, which I think is the, I think that is the party, like National Party. I think, I thought it was, um, I thought it was something different to that. I guess that's what it means. So it is just saying like this is, this is like saying that, and underneath, underneath where it has, um, you know, to vote for the United Australian Party, I think that's what it is actually called. They've got no, they've put no in front of it, they've got no United Distraction Party. In other words, they're saying that uh, to give, uh, you know, to give us this party that seems to be like, like what a real person would be offering, which is like what real people and certainly what we want, and actually need too. It's not just about wanting what we need. That's, that goes for personal connection too. It's not just what you want. You may want uh, a, some, you may want something, but you may also really need it. And if in fact the need is just as great as the want. A real connection should be based on the need at this time. But if you have the want as well, well, that's, um, that should be a real positive thing because it makes it so easy. But we're in a matrix, so not only is nothing easy, but nothing can work out. Because I don't think I explained that very well, but I think I'm doing my best considering I'm out here. See, it says no united distraction party because 
Because even I was aware when I saw the advertisement on the YouTube, because I couldn't, I normally don't, I normally flick through those ads, but I was a bit curious. And, you know, like the, the, the main one that runs it is like 66 years old, which is what I'll be soon. Um, this year. So there are, oh, the sun's just come out when I said that. Look at that. The sun's just come out. Uh, but um, I better stand back here because otherwise the traffic might become noisy and you're going to hear. Uh, but uh, where was I? Yeah, the fellow in that's like, oh, I should be retired, but I'm coming back because he's obviously been part of the other party, which is the Liberal Party, which is like, um, uh, which is like, uh, I just wonder where that noise is coming from, the Liberal Party. It's funny that they should come from the Liberal Party because we only have like two parties, like I guess in Australia, Liberal and Labor, I think that's... But we do have some others that are smaller, but they're basically just part of the other parties. They just um, supposedly, you know, like this is like the... Like they like to vote for the Greens in Leichhardt because they have to pretend they're all about nature and about... You know, keeping all the social and natural life going on. Because that's because I'm in this area, so they have to basically outdo you. That's how I look at it. That me and any other real people that are in the area, I seriously doubt that there's too many other real people in my actual area. There probably could be one or two. I know there is bound to be some, um, even in the adjoining suburbs. But, um, but, you know, few and far between because this area has basically been infiltrated by the um, artificial uh, ones that, that have always been about suppressing, you know, the, uh, the real blood. Of um, oh, I better not. Be uh, it's a bit get a fold up. But see, the sun's coming out now, and I've actually got three coats on because it's freezing cold. Because that's another point I was going to make just before I finish up here. In February, in Sydney. For the last 60 odd years, you will never get the temperature cold or go below a certain amount in January or February. That is almost without exception. I cannot think of any time in my experience where I've been that but over the last week or two, the temperature has gone down, like to where it's quite cold, uh, especially at the night time. for this time of the year. It just doesn't happen at this time of the year. It's always hot in the year. But, you know, I know the sun's just come out now, but maybe that's because I, I'm getting false energy here. Uh, you know, as soon as I turn the mobile off, the energy will be gone. But because I think I might be talking somewhere on some part of the world to someone who's at least of their own kind and understands a bit of what's going on. I that for casually, I don't feel like casually. The sun's on the moment, so I'm overriding negative things. I think I'm supposed to be cross. Why is this spelling not cross in this way? So that's three lots of lights that I've missed while I'm standing. Sun has now come quite hot.
thing about that sign. I was going to try to do a good thing on that sign, but they kept, they kept covering it back over and putting the original sign back with the, with the advertisement. But then someone gets up there, all the way up there, it's a long way up, and keeps in the same letters changing it. Basically, I'm um, dismissing this particular, um, what it says there, a distraction. A distraction. So that people think they don't realise how hopeless the situation is, basically. 